All right. Hey, Shalom. Shalom. First and foremost, we're going to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakhak Wadash. And we just want to give double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who rule well, and peace and salutations unto the elect. Now, and this is the brother uh, Kaabia and the brother Lamar Lamar. Kind. And we both from the uh, GMS Houston camp. You know, and this, I pray that this lesson is edifying unto the elect. You know, in this lesson, we just want to, you know, go into, you know, at, sooner or later, you know, there's going to be a cost to be an Israelite, you know, because there's going to be, you know, many trials and tribulations, you know, that the true, the true men of the Lord are going to have to go through in order to get into the kingdom of heaven, man, you know. We're gonna have to suffer, you know, persecution, um, threats of, you know, well, not really threats, but we're gonna be some of the men of the Lord are gonna be be getting put to death, you know. So, you know, in these, you know, in this lesson, we're just gonna get a few scriptures to prove, you know, that you know, those these people that's calling themselves Israelites now, you know, they ain't gonna be trying to be calling themselves Israelites, you know, when the time comes and during during Jacob's trouble, man, because it's gonna be. You know, great persecution upon those that, you know, call upon the name of Yahweh, why Yahweh shine, man. Because it, it, it was a movie once, uh, I, I forgot, the, well, the title of that movie was The Enemy of the State, which was played by Will Smith, who was the star in that movie. And um, it's not going to, we're not saying they're going to go down like how the movie was, but if you watch that movie, man, they was on... Man, they were hunting the hell. They were hunting them down, man. Uh, Will Smith in that movie called Enemy of the State. So they give you the idea that, you know, that's how these devils is going to also persecute the men of the Lord, man. You know? You know, as part of this devil, you know, his M.O., okay? And this is what he is, this is building up to, okay? We're going to be persecuted for the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, but... Like the brother said, we're going to go ahead and let these scriptures speak, man. Con, you got these people that call themselves Israelites now. You yeah. know, trying, you, what, at what cost, you know? It's gonna, there's a cost to calling yourself an Israelite in Babylon, the great man. Right. You know, there's going to be a, a great cost, you know, right. your life, persecution. Right. You know, your family turning on you, you know? So, let's get these scriptures. <clears throat> this is Acts 14 and 22. Okay. Are you good? I'm going to wait until you get there. There you go. See what I'm telling you? This, this is... Damn it. Satan, man. I know they're going to start piling up on Acts 14, 22. 22. Okay. Kind. You go ahead. I get to this. It's this phone. Kind. This is Acts 14 and 22. Confirming the souls of the disciples... And exhorting them to continue in the faith. And that we must, through much tribulation, enter into the kingdom of the Most High, man. Right. You know, so and then the believers of Yahweh by Shemel Shai, you know, those that call upon you know, the name of Yahweh by Yahweh Shai, you know, those that call themselves Israelites, you know, in order for you to, you know, get the kingdom, you first have to go through much tribulation. Right. Hey, you Going, going to go uh, many days without, you know, eating. Uh, suffer persecution. You're going to be getting chased after. You know, you're going to get called names. Getting, hey, it's all types of things, man. You're going to be putting, men of the Lord going to be getting put to death. You know, it's happened before. You know, so it's not, it's not nothing new, man. Anything about that? Yeah, that's, that's true because just like, you know, we read these scriptures, it's for our learning. And when you read about the 12, okay, the, the apostles, you know, the disciples later turned apostles, they was all persecuted, man. And the followers, you know, they had, man, none of them also, man. And we read these stories, you know, and like the scriptures say, ain't nothing new under the sun, man. All right? So we're going to go through them same things the 12 went through, man. And the other followers who was... And then in that time, you know, disciples in that time, you know, these devils are going to, 
And we see it, you know, but that's why we're reading about it, because it, it shouldn't be a surprise, man. All right? It shouldn't be no surprise, you know? You got something? Well, I heard you. Okay, I want to get, get this a precept? in. Uh, yeah, precept here in uh, Isaiah chapter 59 and 19, because you were saying these devils are going to, you know, you know they're going to send their troops, um, you know, to hunt down the men of the Lord, man. Okay. Okay. Right. And it reads, So shall they fear the name of Yahweh from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy, okay, the enemy, you saw Edom, man, okay, shall come in like a flood, man. And that's talking about them troops, okay. This devil got special troops which is going to come after the men of the Lord, man. You know, on an Israelite, Israelite on the whole, but this devil really trying to seek out the elect, man. All right, because two thirds, they already, he already got two thirds, man. He know how to control them, man. You know, with his, with his, his witchcraft. Okay, but he's this devil really coming after the men of the Lord, man. You know, we going out on highways and byways and telling this devil in his face that his kingdom is about to fall, man. Okay, I don't think anybody is going to hand their kingdom over. This devil is going to fight. Mm -hmm. And his main source is the man of the Lord. That's who he's going to come after, man. Mm -hmm. He can't he, go after the most times. Right, yeah. Go out. He's going to get you the next closest thing, the elect. Right, right. You know, and Jake, <laughs> I heard that in, in, a, in, a, in a rap song before. Jake said that, which is wicked. He's like, if I can't get you, I'm going to get close to the king. Yeah. And that's how these devil think, man. These devil feel like, okay, if I can take a couple of them, maybe I can upset, I can prophecy. upset prophecy. Yeah, yeah. You know, because he tried to go, <laughs> uh, he, he tried the other way, which he can't do, which the Heavenly Father, I'm roughly paraphrasing, saying if you can search out the stars in the heaven and in and, and the deep sea, you search out the sea, the deep, the deep, you know, deep, the depths of the sea, Salaki. He'll do away with the Israelites. And we know this devil being trying, but he can't. So he gonna go with he gonna go with the other attorney, and that's to come after the men of the law with their great wrath, man. Which we're gonna get that in just a second, you know, Re uh, Revelation chapter 12, verse 12. But let me finish this in uh Isaiah chapter 59 and 19. And it reads, When the enemy shall come in like a flood, man, them troops. The spirit of Yahweh should lift up a standard against him. And that's what we have to believe and have faith in. And that standard is going into uh, going into certain men going to receive that spiritual power, man. Okay? Whatever brothers are going to receive that, that standard is going to be lifted, man. He's going to make it a way out certain men to escape from this devil's hands. And we know certain cases that some brothers are gonna get gonna be caught by this devil, man, to say. And throw it in concentration camps and prison, and some of them are gonna be put to death. Okay? This is part of counting the cost, man. Alright? That's why Elder Apostle Gabor love to say, man, hey brothers, know what you're getting yourself into. Cause in a minute, man, this devil is gonna show that horn, man. Okay? And that's coming after the men of the Lord, man. Right. I see. You got something else? Can I get a precept? Uh, I got a precept. Uh, this is Revelation uh, 2 and 10. Mm -hmm. Tell me when you're there. So, like, this phone. So I should have just used my other phone. My good. Revelation 2 and 10. 2 and 10. You go ahead. Revelation 2 and 10. Fear none. Of thee those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, mm -hmm. that ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. And that's, that's not talking about actually ten days, you know. It's just a certain time period, you know. And it says, Be thou faithful unto death, right. and I will give thee a crown of life. You know? So... It's going to come a time, you know, 
those that call and those say, oh my, well, really, anybody, any Jake, man. Esau is just going to be grabbing people off the streets, man. Right, right, right. You know, but they mainly going after the men of the Lord, man. Those that call them, call upon the name of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, that call themselves Israelites, man. Right. So this devil, you know, Esau, you know, which is the so-called white man, he going to, you know, cast some of the uh, men of the Lord in uh, these FEMA camps, man. He may starve you, torture you, yep. put you to death, you know. He will imprison you, you know, but what does it say? Be thou faithful unto death, you know. And then I will give you, give thee a crown of life, man. So that's going to be the reward for suffering all these things, man. Eternal and everlasting salvation, man. Right. The kingdom. Like once again, you have to count that cost. That's, that's, that's what you, we, that's what we have to prepare ourselves, ourselves uh, prepare ourselves for, man. Okay. You know, like his brother say, even to death, man. All right, which, you know, we understand death, okay? You know, <coughs> we understand death, man. Hey, we know if our works follow us. You know, any brother who's sincere, pushing his truth, if, that, if that's your lot, hey, man, you're going to be the first one reason when your heart was shot come back on that chariot, man. God, that's uh, 2 Thessalonians 4 or 1 Thessalonians 4. Right, right. So, it, 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 it's, yeah, you no know, brother wanted to face it, but this is what... We signed up for it, man. And that's the cost. That's the cost, right? And if we, you want to get eternal salvation, you have to. You have to. The cost is look. There's a chance you may be put to death. Right. Hey, you gonna go through um, afflictions and tribulation, man. Trials and tribulations. Right. Or you could just die. You know, get burnt up by a nuclear missile. You know. Yeah. But hey, shoot. Yeah. It's either you suffer it, you know, suffer the straight gate, or. Don't and get you know put through a missile. Any either way, you can go through hell, man. Right, yeah, yeah. So it's best to be the die in this truth, or to die for the name, or die for your how about Shema Shai's sake, man. You know, which keeping the word, man, keeping the faith, because it's a win-win. You know, it's a win-win on that end. Okay. So we we can't lose, but I wanted to uh, being got a little precept. Okay. I want to pick it up, you know, continue going into, you know, in these times when this devil is going to come in as a flood. I want to go into, uh, and, you know, going into this devil going to send his troops to come look for the man of the Lord. Man. Which, this devil got all information on us anyway. Okay? Every brother that putting up videos, every brother who calling this devil to his face and letting him know his his. It's judgment. Hey, this devil got tabs on everybody, man. Okay? This devil got tabs on everybody. And the brother was speaking, uh, spoken earlier, we were talking earlier that these Israelites who playing around with it, you ain't going to be able to escape it neither, man. Yeah. You ain't going to be able to say, oh, oh, no, I was just doing some, uh, I didn't mean it. Uh, no, I'm not yeah. an Israelite no more. Hey, that's not going to fly in that day. This devil going to show no mercy, man. What I'm about to read here, man. Okay, they don't have no mercy. Second Ezra chapter sixteen and verse seventy. Hold on. What's the lock? Oh, you good? Second Ezra is slacking. And can you uh? We should have did it before, but can you look up the word persecution on the answer line? Persecution. Yeah. Okay. After we get this, we'll get it. Matter of fact, get it. You can get it right now. Do you understand what persecution is, man? All right. The word persecution. Oppression for the beholding of a belief or opinion from old friends. Persecution. Persecution, damage, affliction, suffering, and directly from Latin... No, but that's that's really it. Well, um, pers 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 I can't, I can't spell that. I'm just gonna cut. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go down to where it says to follow, pursue, to hunt down, mm. proceed against, pro uh, prosecute, uh, start illegal action. No, that's it. Hey, I just said that pretty much in the next year. I said they're gonna come after, so they're gonna hunt down the man of the Lord. Okay, he said oppression for the beholding of a belief or See? opinion. Repression. Say it again. Oppression for holding the belief 
or oppression for the holding of a belief or opinion. Man, you see that? So, just like the wicked Israelites back then, man, when they persecuted Yahweh shot, man. You know, giving them <laughs> over to authority. So, yeah, we're going to be going through the same thing, man, because the servant is not greater than his master, man. You know, roughly paraphrasing. That way, Yahweh shot told the set, told the 12, man. Okay? So, he was telling him, man. So let me get this in 2nd Ezra 16 and 70, man. Because this, this is going into that word persecution, man. For there shall be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord, man. The elect. Okay? They shall be like mad men sparing none. Okay, going back into... Uh, Isaiah 59, man. The enemy should come in like a flood, man. Okay? They shall be like mad men, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. For they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. Okay? And this, this is going to happen to the men of the Lord, man. All right, and it reads, verse uh, 73, Then shall they be known who are my chosen, and they shall be tried as go as the gold and the fire, man. Part of that tribulation, man. We got to go through, the brother read earlier, through much tribulation, we should enter into the kingdom of heaven. <coughs> Roughly paraphrasing, man. So going through that trial, like they say, being tried as, the gold and the fire, man, that's that tribulation. You know, that's going through that that, that straight, or that what the scripture go in there? The straight, straight gate. The straight gate, man. You know, difficulties, man. And this part of it, man, these devils persecuting the men of the Lord, man. Which is, which is you go into that word again, they say to what? The problem? Perse the, uh, yeah, persecution, oppression for the holding of a belief or opinion. Uh, read before that you say the chase down the oh it says to 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 follow pursue, pursue. hunt down hunt down proceed against persecute yeah so this is something that you know we have to you know meditate on man prosecute. okay this devil say you know, you know he <laughs> hey he you know, like a madman sparing none. So that, that's no mercy. So this devil going to have no mercy on the men of the Lord, man. Israelite as a whole, but, you know, like we say, he really looking for the, as the scriptures say right here in 2nd Ezra 16 chapter, those that fear the Lord, man. Okay. The elect. Okay, you got a precept? Yeah. Get Revelation 20. Okay. Revelation 20 and 4. Uh, the Revelation 24 and I saw thrones and they that sat upon them and judgment was given unto them and I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Yahweh Shai and for the word of the Most High so what's the word of the Most High this word man it's truth man so you had those that were you know beheaded you know them guillotines you know that were put to death for their beliefs, you know, we just went into that word persecution, you know. So there's going to be, you know, men of the Lord being put to death because of their beliefs, man. But our belief in Yahweh Shai, man. Those that call themselves Israelites and believe in Yahweh Shai. You know, but, that, but that's the cost. And in order for you to, you know, get the kingdom of heaven, you have to, you, you have to be faced with this. That's the cost, you know, potentially being put to death. But I'm going to keep reading. And which had not worshipped. The beast, which is uh the beast is NATO in the EU in America, neither his image, neither had received his mark upon their foreheads. When his image is his whole you no know, the American system, his infrastructure, you know, his laws, political system, all that. Mm -hmm. You know, the American way. Neither had received his mark, which the mark in uh the Greek is karagma, which is that you no know, is 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 that how how do I say it to uh not get you no know, I'm gonna say the 
It's, it's the Karagma, the C H I P, you know. Right, right. The C Hill. C Hill. <laughs> it's crazy how we gotta yeah. put in whatever, but yeah, neither have received his mark upon their foreheads or in their hands, and they lived and reigned with the Yahweh Shah a thousand years, man. Right. So, you know, these are the you know, the men that stood stiffly for the name of the Yahweh Bashimel Shah, man, that didn't take you know his chip. That didn't take his C H I P to see him. You know? And that's mother proof that we can't even say certain words because these devils is listening, man. These <laughs> devils listen to everyone I video. So, and, you know, he's just going to be, uh, uh, you know, these devils can't wait, you know. You know, through the mercy of Yahweh Bashim, I was shy, you know, he probably keeping these devils obey to, you know, the elect is feeling, you know, you know, to, you know, the elect is waking, you know. Starting with the hundred and forty four thousand. But this devil, hey, it's gonna be a time when most I gonna put the spirit in these devils to make that move, man. So right now, yeah, they can block out our videos and things like that, but they're gonna get physical. Okay, in in the, in the time to come. I mean these latter days are gonna get real. Which we're in the last days, so like it, but they're gonna get physical, man. Right now these devil can ban us up, you know, block and keep you know, uh how they say it. Uh, okay. Hitting our channels. Uh, copyright strike, something like that. Uh, yeah, striking our channels. Strike it. That's what it is. Yeah. yeah so yeah. So he show you that we have to. We got to. Can't, we can't say certain words. So these devils are listening, man. And they're gonna Probably. get physical in these times, man. These latter days, man. Okay, you got something? Nah, it's it's you. If you just bring your last your precepts, and I'll get to. I'm gonna close out. Okay, I wanted to get this here, and uh, since we mentioned, I mentioned it earlier, Revelation fourteen. <laughs> Verse 12, man. It's so like in 12, Revelation 12 and 12. So, like, it. here we go. Revelation chapter 12 and verse 12. Therefore, rejoice, you heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the, inhabitor, the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil. He saw you, starting with the global elites, is come down unto you having great wrath, man. That great wrath. Okay? Persecution is one of them. Okay? Because he knoweth that he had but a short time, man. Yeah, this devil knows his, his kingdom is, is, is falling. And it's falling <coughs> quick, quickly. I mean, it's falling fast, man. So this devil, hey, he gonna fight for his kingdom, man. And he gonna blame the men of the Lord. He gonna come at the men of the Lord. He gonna blame us for it, man. He gonna, he's not going. He gonna go out with a fight, man. And part of that fight is him gonna try to, you know, to persecute and put to death some of the men of the Lord, man. And so our Lord, Yahweh, shine angels come, man. You know. You know this devil know a lot because like. Elder Apostle Tohai once said, the devil is learning, they they learn all these things, the breakdowns and all that through the men of the Lord. So they 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 know. They time is up. And they gonna make their move, man. Okay, just some and we wanted, you know, the brother Cobb, you know, he came up with this 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 lesson, you know. You know, and that's I was telling him I did a lesson on this like a couple of weeks ago, a week ago or something. So it's just showing you that the spirit, man, you know, we, some that, you know, not just us, every brother probably sit and meditate on this. Because we see we're in them times now. It's here. You know? Uh, you say you want to you end out with something? Yeah, you got a precept. You can read yeah, I'm, I'm going to grab this here in uh, Romans 8 because, you know, these scriptures is our comforter, man. You know, the Holy Spirit, which is the Holy Spirit, man, was to give us the understanding of these scriptures and, you know, it's, it's our comforter. But I want to get this in Romans 8, and this is Apostle Paul speaking, man. Okay, and uh, the title, the subtitle I have here is say, Nothing can separate us from Yahweh's love, man. What's that? What's that verse? Uh, it's like uh, Romans 8 and 31. Start at verse 31. All right, and it reads, you there? Mm -hmm. okay. okay, it reads, What shall we then say to these things? If Yahweh be for us, who can be against us, man? And you know, we also have two-thirds of our own people going to be against us, man. 
who are going to try to persecute us too. And they're going to blame, so this is y'all fault why this devil is coming down up on us. You know, because in these wacky taking Christian minds, they think you're supposed to love it. this devil. <laughs> God loves everybody. <laughs> you know, which is this devil going to put it like we, uh, we're already on the, uh, what's that, that, uh, mm. They already have was as the black Hebrew Israelites on the uh, <clears throat> damn it, what's the call it? The poverty, damn, uh, the southern poverty, Salaki. But this devil already have was classified the, the so called black Hebrew Israelite as a hate group. Oh, yeah. You know, the southern poverty law, I, if I'm pronouncing <laughs> it right, but yeah, so. When all this go down, man, you're going to have our own people come against us. You know? Don't turn against us. So, let's continue. Verse 32. He that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all. <clears throat> how shall he not, it's like, a, how shall he not with him also freely give us all things? Verse 33, who shall lay anything to the charge of Yahweh's elect? It is Yahweh that justi justified. Right, man. Now, I'm going to read that in the NLT. Who dares accuse us whom Yahweh has chosen for his own? And Lord willing, we of them, we of them men. Okay? No one for Yahweh himself has given us right standing with himself, man. Okay? So back to uh, the, K, the KJV 34. Who is, who is he that condemneth? It is Yahweh Shah, or uh, Amashiach Yahweh Shah, that died, yea, rather, that is risen again, who is even at the right hand of Yahweh, who also made intercession, uh, intercession, I'm pronouncing it right? Okay. Uh, in his intercession for us. Yeah, Yahweh shall be that mediator for us, man. All right, but here's the point right here in verse 35. Okay. <clears throat> who shall separate us from the love of Hamashiach, Yahweh shall? Shall tribulation, or distress and persecution. Okay? So we're going to go through all these things, man. Tribulation, distress, and persecution, man. And famine, and nakedness, and peril, and or sword. Okay? I think I say uh, nakedness, or peril, or sword. Mm -hmm. All right? Danger, man. Death. Okay? Verse 36, as it is written, for thou sake we are killed all the day long. We are accounted as sheep for the slaughter, man. All right? And he quoting, uh, I believe that's in the songs. Yes, somewhere in Psalms. Psalms 44. Hold on. Yeah, Psalms 44 and 22. Yeah, yeah that's, you know, from the Old Testament. All right? Verse 37. Here's the answer to that. Nay, and all these things we are more than conquerors through him that love us, man. Okay? For I am persecuted that neither death, no, it's like it. For I am persuaded. Okay? And this is the spirit of the elect men should be in, man. All right? For I am persuaded that neither death nor life nor angels, nor principality, principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shaman, which is in Hamashiach Yahweh Shaman Lord, man. Okay, but that's that's the point, man. We shouldn't, hey, we shouldn't let this bother us, man. Okay, death, persecution. 
You know, tribulations shouldn't separate us from our true powers, man. All right? And, but they're going to take faith, man. Okay? And remember, faith is a gift. And only the men of the Lord have that. Okay? That will separate us from us and these two-thirds and these other Israelite camps who are out here playing with this, playing with the truth, man. Who ain't taking this thing serious. Who's still in the worldly mind state. But just know they're Israelites. Okay? But I'm going to end with that, brother. Go ahead. Okay. And this is what you were saying, man. Uh, in verse 35, when you're talking about you know, the distress or the persecution or the famine or nakedness or peril or the sword, you know, that's all, you know, costs. That's what it costs in right. order for you to get the kingdom of heaven, man. Right. You have to face all these things in order to get this, the kingdom, man. So I just wanted to get uh, Revelation 2 <clears throat> and 26. No, and this is going to be the last precept. We're going to end it off here. This is Revelation 2 and 26. And he that overcometh and keepeth my works until the end. You know, so if you, you know, you stick true to your how about you, through all the, you know, the persecution, through all the persecution, the trials and tribulations that we, you know, said in this lesson, I'm going to keep reading. To him will I give power over the nations. You know? So ultimately, man, we're going to have power over all the nations of the world, man. You know, you're going to have the kingdom of heaven ruling over all the nations, bro. You know, being of that elect, you know, the elect body that would be ruling and governing over the world, man. So, hey, that was that was it, you know. All right. So, it's a reward to come with that, man. You know, okay. it's a reward. It's, it's something I like to quote, you know, more often. You know, we are the men of the Lord, and we, you know, we... Endure to the end. You know, you you want to hear that. You want to hear that. The voice of Yahweh shot telling you, man, you know, you being his good and faithful servant, man, putting that crown on your head, man. All right? Being a part of the governing body of the kingdom to come, man. So it's a reward, man. You know? We ain't living over here anyway, man. So what if Esau put someone else to death? Okay. We're going to come back on the chair with Yahweh shot. And come down from the chairs and, and put all you devils along with these other heathen nations in subjection, man. Okay? So, that's pretty much it, huh? Yeah, kind. Hey, yeah, kind. That's it. Hey, hopefully, you know, this lesson was edifying unto the elect. You know, and you believe it's out there of the hopeful elect. And I just want to give all praises. We just want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh. Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rachak Wadash. And I just want to give double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who were well. And peace and salutations.